Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn how user can change his or her password detail in this online examination system by using PHP script with Ajax. In previous part, we have seen how to change profile detail in this PHP based online exam system, but in that part, we have not covered changes of password details because password has been stored in hash format. For this, we have covered change password feature in this part. For this we have go to change password.php file. And here first we have write, include statement, with master folder name, slash examination.php class. Below this, we have write dollar exam variable is equal to, new examination class, here we have create object of this class, for access method of this class. For check user is login into system or not, for this here we have write, dollar exam object, with user session private method. After this, we want to add header.php file code, for this here we have write include statement, with header.php file. Now we have moved to write HTML code part, so here we want to make form for change password, so here we have write form tag, method is equal to post, and ID is equal to change password form. Under this form, for enter new password, here we have write input type is equal to password, name, and ID is equal to, user password. Same way for enter confirm password details, here we have write, input type is equal to password, name, and ID is equal to, confirm user password. After this, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to page, and value is equal to change password. Below this, we have again write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to action, and ID is equal to change password, this both hidden field value we will use in PHP script. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to change password, and value is equal to change. So, here our HTML code is ready, now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write dollar with form id change password form with parsley method it will initialize parsley javascript library below this we have write dollar with form id change password form with on method and under this we have write submit event with callback function Under this, we have first write, event.prevent default method, it will stop to reload web page. Now, we have write dollar with text box id user password with attribute method, and under this we have write required, so it will add this required attribute in this text box field. For validate confirm user password field data, so here we have write dollar with text box id confirm user password with attribute method, and under this we have write required, so it will add this required attribute in this text box field.
Now we want to check user password text box field value, match with confirm user password text box field. For this here we have write, dollar with text box ID confirm user password, with attribute method. With two argument, in first argument we have write, data parsely equal to attribute, and in second argument, we have write text box ID user password. This code will check user password text box value is match with confirm user password text box value. Now for check form data validation, here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, dollar with form ID change password form. With parsley method, with validate method, if form data is valid, then it will proceed for submit form data to server, using Ajax request. If all form data is valid, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write Ajax request, with first option URL set to user Ajax action.php file, it will send request to file. In second option, we have write method, here we can define form data submit method, so here we have use post method, for submit form data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have write, dollar this, with serialize method, it will conform form data, into URL encoded string. For define data type, here we have write data type option, and here we have write JSON, so it will receive data in JSON format. In fifth option, we have write before send callback function, this function will be called, before Ajax request has been sent. Under this function, we have write dollar with button ID change password, with attribute method, and here we have set disabled property true, so it will disable submit button, for prevent to insert double data. After this, we have write dollar with submit button ID, change password with value method, and under this we have write please wait, it will change button text. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write data dot success, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write alert, with data dot success, it will pop up dialog box, with success message. For refresh web page, here we have write location dot reload method, set to true, this code will reload this profile page. For enable submit button, here we have write dollar with button ID change password, with attribute method, and under this we have set disabled property to false. And for change submit button text, here we have write button ID change password, with value method, and under this, we have write change, so this text will be display on submit button. Now we have go to user ajax action.php file, here we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post page variable value is equal to change password, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, 
we have write another if statement, with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to, change password, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Now we have write, dollar exam object with data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon user password, and in value, we have write password hash method, with two argument, in first argument we have write dollar post user password variable. And in second argument, we have write password default, this method will convert simple string password, to hash formatted password. In second key, we have write double colon, user ID, and in value, we have write dollar session user ID variable. So here we have store data in array format. Now we have write dollar exam object, with query variable is equal to, update query like update user table, set user password is equal to, double colon user password, where user ID is equal to, double colon user ID. For execute this update query, we have write dollar exam object, with execute query method, this method will execute update query, and it will change user password. After query execution, we have write session destroy function, this function will delete all session variable. Now we want to send response to Ajax request, for this here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In this array, we have write success as key, and in value we have write password has been changed, this message will be pop up on web page. For send this data to Ajax request, here we have write echo statement, with JSON encode method, with dollar output variable, it will convert data into JSON string. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login into user, for change password details, we have click on this change password link. After click on this link, here we can see the change password form on web page, with two field for enter password, and confirm password field details, with change button. So, in password field, we have enter password 123, and in confirm password field, we have enter only password, and click on change button. After click on button, here we can see validation error using Parsley JavaScript library. Now we have enter password 123 in confirm password field also. Now we have click on change button. After click on change button, here we can see pop up message like password has been changed. After this page has been refresh, and user has been log out from this system, and redirect to login page. So, here we have enter user email address, and new password details like password 123, and click on login button. After click on login button, here we can see user has been successfully login into system, using new password. So, in this part, we have covered user change password feature, in next part, we will learn how to list all available exam on index, for user enrollment, in this online examination system.
If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP-based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected 